everyone and welcome to our weekly video update from Mark Cutlet Seeds. This is our first video for 2023. We'd like to thank you for a tremendous spring and all of your support this year. This is Doug's first spring at Mark Cutlet Seeds and he survived. <laughs> Yay! It's been great to be part of the team and it's been great to meet a number of you and I'm looking, looking forward to meeting many more. And so our return deadline for this year is June 16th. Please ask that you bring back your unopened clean bags of seeds as well as pallets and pro boxes by June 16th. An extra thank you to our cooperators this year. We have a tremendous amount of plots in the ground. Uh, big thank you for all your hard work with that and dedication. We're actually in a 75 day PKP in the Cleefield area here, taking a look at some of our newer hybrids like a P7822 AM. Overall, emergence has been good this year. However, we are seeing in some fields that were planted into excess moisture where that furrow has cracked open, uh, leading to a bit of uneven emergence, as well as some blowing soil uh, near the end of May with the high winds and high temperatures, uh, leading to, again, some uneven emergence in soybeans and corn. I'm in a field of Pioneer Soybeans near St. Anne, Manitoba. This field features one of our first side-by-sides with P007A68E soybeans. The E stands for our E3 or Enlist technology. This allows you to use 2,4-D, Liberty and glyphosate on these soybeans. The correct formulation for the 2,4-D is offered through Corteva Crop Protection as Enlist 1 or Enlist Duo. The correct formulation for the Liberty is offered as Liberty 200 SN, which is actually the same Liberty that you can use in our AcreMax corn. We're very excited to carry these soybeans, not only because of the high yield potential with the genetics, but the flexibility that it offers with your herbicide package. We'll have to be clear with communication going forward since next year we'll be offering E3 soybeans and Extend soybeans, which can be um, sprayed with dicamba. If you have any questions about these herbicide packages or what it means in the future, please do not hesitate to give us a call. I'm in a field of P7527AM near New Bothwell, Manitoba. This corn seed has been treated with our premium Lumavia seed treatment for cutworm control. We haven't had reports of significant damage from cutworms this year, and we are leaving that stage of development for scouting and corn, but if you do have questions about Lumavia or other seed treatments, please let us know. The first pass of herbicide has been applied in this field and is uh, effectively taking care of those weeds, so that's great, that's what we like to see. The earlier the better when it comes to weed control, um, especially on that second pass before they get too big. Um, sometimes people like to wait to see and make sure that that flush is big enough to capture weeds. However, um, the control will be better on the smaller weeds, so something to remember. If you are looking to boost that second pass with a bit of a nutrient package, we do have Manson Foss available, which is just a foliar additive to that glyphosate on your second pass for corn. We're very excited for another season of agronomic videos for you. If you have any suggestions for topics or you have any questions about things in your fields, please do not hesitate to call. Thanks so much for watching and have a great weekend.